Staples. Congressman Ted Lieu is a Democratic representative from California, and he joins me now. Um, Congressman, your response to the president's uh, comments about the, uh, the folks that are trying to keep Americans informed. Well, today's Wednesday. That means the president is lying again. Clearly, there's still a nuclear threat from North Korea. And the parallels to Watergate are striking because the last president that constantly attacked the free press was Richard Nixon. And what the press is actually doing is simply pointing out the facts about what happened at the summit in North Korea, which is that not very much. So we're going to have to wait a while to see if it was a success or a total failure. What, the phrase enemy of the people, what does that yeah. conjure for you? It actually conjures Richard Nixon and Watergate in my mind, because that is the phrase that Richard Nixon also used. But it's very alarming uh, for the president of the United States to attack the First Amendment and a free press in this manner. And unfortunately, when you watch Fox primetime news, it looks like it's turned into state TV. So thank you to MSNBC and other networks for not doing that. Well, see, here, you know, I, well, there's another interview with uh, uh, out today, uh, largely a friendly interview, in which the president sort of says about Kim Jong Un, and look, uh, you got to hand it to the guy. He got the, the the job when he was so young. I mean, it's hard to be that young. Uh, and 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 the interviewer says, well, he killed lots of people. He says, well, lots of countries do lots of things. Like he has spent the last two days ceaselessly praising the management stuff the leadership abilities, the personality traits, and the heart of Kim Jong-un. What Donald Trump is doing is really bizarre. The leader of North Korea killed a relative with poison. He shot another loyalist with an anti-aircraft gun. He has labor camps. If someone does something wrong in North Korea, they could take three generations of their family and put them into labor camps. All at the same time with the president now attacking Canada, of all places. So what Donald Trump is doing makes no sense, and I'm alarmed that more Republicans across the aisle are not speaking up. Um, there's also this report, which I thought was interesting, that, the, that, that, that there's a Trump appointee who is now looking at the loyalty of federal employees. These are civil servants, right, not appointees. Senior advisor of the State Department appointed just two months ago has been quietly vetting career diplomats. Again, career diplomats. These are parts of the civil service and American employees of international institutions to determine whether they are loyal to President Donald Trump and his political agenda. Is that appropriate? Not only is that not appropriate, that also strikes me as it could be illegal because federal employees only take one oath, and that's an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. And it's gotten so bad with the Trump administration that on the House Judiciary Committee, I now will ask witnesses that appear sometimes if they've taken a loyalty oath to this president. That should never be a question that any elected official needs to ask because everyone needs to understand they did not take an oath to an administration or a party or a particular person. It's all an oath to the Constitution. I'm confused. Do, people, do you ask that because people have taken a loyal, like an explicit loyalty yeah. oath to the president? The public reporting is that some officials have taken loyalty oaths to President Trump, or at least he's demanded a loyalty oath from them. Um, all right. Well, I would love to see them. <laughs> I wonder who wrote the loyalty oath. Um, do you think, ultimately, uh, that the, the, the president, that the, the, the president's performance in North Korea is, is going to endure in terms of how he thinks about what happened there and how people on, on Capitol Hill think about it? I previously served on active duty under U.S. Pacific and, and it's very clear to me the U.S. has no good military options. So I supported this summit and I support diplomacy. So honestly, it's too way too early to tell uh, if North Korea is going to denuclearize or if they're going to do the same thing they did with previous administrations and, and break all their promises. But what we do know is as of today, North Korea has not gotten rid of a single nuke, a single missile or any of their chemical or biological weapons. So I have no idea how the president can try to tell the American people that North Korea is no longer a nuclear threat. I don't think this story can end without Kim uh, playing around at Mar-a-Lago. I think that's absolutely will happen. Congressman Ted Lieu, thanks for joining us. Thank you.